A few months ago I made honest content about Sekiro. My honesty was attacked by those hell dwellers who like this game. The conclusion I got, this game is very bad and weird. They lied that this game was called good and iconic. But a question arose in my mind, why could this game get gaudy in 2019? Then a few seconds later I immediately found the answer. This is the explanation of Sekiro is a bad game, why can it get gaudy? 1. Samurai Game Theme Factor Now let's find out, what games have the samurai genre? There are indeed many but games with the samurai genre have many shortcomings in 2019. I take an example from the GameBrot.com website. Katana Zero, 2019, a game with a pixel art, platform feel. There are no higher expectations with this 2D platformer game. Samurai Warriors 4, 2015, a Samurai War themed game, although with old and plain graphics. even with light specifications. Shadow Warrior, 2013, I know this game, this game has a katana weapon, but more fantasy, there are firearms, and this game is FPP. Nio, 2017, I want to try this game, it looks promising. but requires a fairly strong and high device. Even though this game was released in 2017. Way of the Samurai, 2015, because this game is old, so the graphics are not modern. But with modern graphics, of course the specifications of this game are very light. Killer is Dead, 2014, in terms of appearance, this game is less convincing. If you look at it briefly, it takes a modern time setting. Shadow Tactics, 2016, this game has a samurai theme but a MOBA perspective. This game can run on medium devices. After I noticed, maybe this will be the next game I play on this channel. Hopefully this game is better than Sekiro. Katana Kata, 2020, wow, it turns out there is a new game with the samurai genre, but its form is like an indie game. It is not necessary to have high expectations, but why should an indie game like this have a fairly high performance? Akane, 2018, another 2D samurai platformer game. But of course with fairly light specifications, and wow, he has three awards. Before playing this game did have stunning visual graphics but with fairly ideal specifications. These two things are what make people tempted to play this game and regret it. The conclusion is this is the reason why Sekiro is an alternative to choose, when compared to previous games, of course people will choose Sekiro, only because of the stunning graphics and with a perfect TPP point of view.
If Ghost of Tsushima had a faster release, maybe the Gotti nomination would be a little different. I sacrificed everything for my people. And I would do it again. 2. Social Factors Humans are naturally social creatures. When humans experience something bad, humans will try to invite other humans to experience the bad thing together. For example, Tom is playing Sekiro and he is frustrated because the boss he is facing is not balanced with Wolf the farmer who has no power. He continues to be tortured and dies until he loses everything. Because Tom doesn't want to be tortured alone, Tom invites me to play this game because he said it's a good game. After I played it, it turned out that this game could not be completed, and I will tell other people to play this game so that I don't suffer alone, and so on until many people play this game and got it. Conclusion Don't trust the games you see too much and be wary of people who say, this game is good. I am one of the victims who was trapped by the game which was labeled the best game, but when I tried it myself, it turned out that this game destroyed me and I felt cheated. Oh yeah by the way why is Baldur Gate 3 included in Gotti?